So today I'm going to be doing the Colours of the Rainbow tag, where you have the Colours of the Rainbow and you have to pick a product or fashion item, mine are mainly products because I'm a product orientated girl, for each colour. So to make the ten colours, we've got the seven colours of the rainbow, which are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. And then there's three more that have been added, which are pink, gold and multicolour. So the first colour is red, and it's the red lipstick I'm wearing today, which is by Gosh. This is one of the Velvet Touch lipsticks. It's number 60, which is called Lambada, and it's such a beautiful, deep red. Now, I really like this red because it's definitely really pure. It's not a pinky shade, it's definitely more of a cool tone red. It makes your teeth look really white, and this is the ultimate red lipstick that I always generally go for when I need a bright cherry red lip. The second colour is orange, and for that, I have chosen these because they have orange lids. Now it's not, the, the colour of the product is white, both of these, so it doesn't really go with that, but I thought that the orange of the lids worked well, it's like the orange range. These are the Kerastase Nutritive range, which is for normal to slightly sensitised hair, or slightly dry hair in case of the conditioner. I was introduced to these at a hair salon the last time I got my hair cut so I have been using these since and I think it's really helped keep my hair amazing and soft and I love it. So I use the Bam Satin 1 which is different to the second one which is number 2 but it's not that you use them it's in order it's you use one or two and then you follow up with the conditioner and there's also like some treatments and stuff. So I actually have another product for orange and this is it. It's not really quite orange, but this is my new Anya High March, and I really, really wanted to show you her because I think she's beautiful. I did write a blog post on her, so I will leave a link to that below. But hopefully you can see the colour. It's like a corally colour, and I think she's so beautiful. I love the little bow detail here, and all the little gold studs, they're like heart-shaped, and they have the little Anya bow in the middle of each stud as well, and it's on the back too. I think it's so beautiful, I love the gold zip, and I'm not really too keen on the tassel, but it goes well with the purse, and then that's just the inside. The third colour is yellow. I did not find this on the Victoria's Secret website this morning when I looked it up, so I'm not really sure if this is still available. It might be a couple of years old. I actually bought this ages ago and haven't opened it or used it because I was still using my other bottle. For yellow, I actually wanted to introduce this product to you, which is the Beauty Rush from Victoria's Secret. This is the body drink lotion in the Slice of Heaven scent. Victoria's Secret do really nice range of scents and like sprays and stuff. They're really, really yummy. Because that product wasn't actually available, I picked up the only other yellow products that I have which are these two nail polishes. They're really similar in colour, actually. This is the one that I got first, which is from Topshop, and it's called Bee's Knees. It's just a really nice, creamy buttercup. No, it's not really buttercup. Like a creamy, pastel yellow. This one, by Model Zone, is Lemon Meringue. Again, it's a really nice cream shade. These two are pretty much the same colour. Either one of these is really nice for a cream, pastel yellow shade. The fourth colour is green. These are facial wipes made by Simple, and these are just the cleansing ones. I don't use cleansing wipes every day. These are the ones that I take with me if I'm going to a friend's house or something, so that I can remove my makeup. I also thought I'd just bring this out. It's not quite green, is it? It's kind of like a minty green shade. This is the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. I've talked about this loads. Basically, I love it and it's amazing. The fifth, sixth and seventh colours are blue, indigo and violet. So I don't really have a lot of blue products. I chose this, which has the tiniest bit of blue, but it's still got blue, so it's better than no blue at all. This is from the brand Skin, and it's the Anti-Blemish range. This is the Blemish Control Lotion, and if I could only use one treatment product, other than moisturiser and stuff, obviously, for facial care, this would be the one I chose. 
I love it. I think it's amazing. The anti blemish range from Skin is actually a really, really good range, and I would urge you to try it if you're if you've got problematic skin and other products don't seem to work for you. So for indigo, which is kind of like a dark purpley shade, I have chosen this. This is the Urban Decay All Night Lab Makeup Setting Spray. My bottle, I hope you can't see how horrendous this is because it's really horrible. It's by Scandinavia. I use this almost every day. I will use it most of the time that I apply makeup on, which is mostly every day, especially when I'm going to work and stuff. And I've got it on today. It's just a setting spray, so once you've done your face with makeup, normally I put it on before I do my lips and my mascara, but all the other face, so powders and foundation and everything, and then I'll spritz this on my face, usually three, three or four, depending on how generous I feel. Three generally covers my entire face, so I normally stick with that. And it helps to keep makeup in place, and it's lovely. It feels nice on the skin too. So for violet, I've chosen a lilac product, which is my Clarisonic Mia. I love her. She's been with me for two and a half years now. I don't use her every day, but I do use her at least twice a week. Generally, when my skin's feeling a little dull and it needs a little bit of a deep cleanse, I'll use this. I'll use this after I've cleansed off any makeup from my skin and I use it with the Ren Clear Calm 3 Clarifying Clay Cleanser because that stuff is awesome. Basically, you press the button and it wears for a minute. So you have a nice long minute to scrub your face and cleanse it and remove all the grime and dirt. Rinse it off and that's it. I know you can use this two times a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, but my skin gets irritated a lot if I do too much with it, so I only use it in the evenings after removing my makeup, because I feel like you need a deeper cleanse in the evening than you do in the morning, because normally you're waking up fresh faced and cleansed and everything. The brushes that I use are the sensitive skin ones. Now, I believe that my skin is semi-sensitive, like it can be sensitive to some things, but not to others, so that's why I stick with the sensitive skin. Um, the sensitive brush head. If you've tried others, I mean, if you feel that the sensitive brush head doesn't work as well for you, then you can try the others, but if you know that it works well with you, stick to what you know. Don't change it, because that can really hurt your skin. That's the end of the colours of the rainbow, but we've still got pink, gold, and multicolour for me to show you. So for pink, I've chosen one of my favourite perfumes, which is Miss Dior. This one is actually Miss Dior Cherie Eau de Toilette, but I believe it's the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum that smells like this. I may be wrong, Ugh. but this is amazing. I love the little bow detailing. I'm actually going to put some on now. I think it's so pretty. The perfume's actually pink. Oh, smells amazing. I love that it's Dior. Really, I don't ever have to top this up. Couple spritz last me the whole day, generally, I find. And I think it just smells divine. It's really a sweet fragrance, so I definitely recommend you to go and try it out. I don't think it's too sweet and overpowering, but... It is pretty sweet, so it just depends on your taste of fragrance. Like, if you're a citrusy person, this probably isn't the one for you. Or if you like muskier scents. This is the Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner. And this is actually an eyeliner to wear, which is made up of glitter. It's awesome. I'm going to do a swatch for you. This one is actually gold and black. But you can get ones that are just gold, and that one's pretty too, but I couldn't find that one, so I thought I'd just stick with this one. I think this one works really well, because when you line your eyes with the gold, it has the black there to help it. You know, because you normally line your eyes with black eyeliner anyway, so that makes more sense. This is my gold product. This is the number 15 one, which is called Dig It. And being with gold products, I thought I'd do a couple of jewellery items, okay? The first one is my new bunny ring. I think it's so cute. I love it. It's so adorable. I only got it really recently, but it's so cute. There's a couple of close-up pictures on my blog where I've shown my nails, so I will leave a link to that below, so check those out if you want to see. And my other gold item is this necklace. Now, you can't really see it, and I'm not going to get too close to you. 
and it's not really the gold that I like but it is gold so I thought I'd show it um, because it's on a gold chain but this is a one carat heart diamond now that would probably cost like a thousand something pounds however this only cost me less than a hundred pounds and that's because it's a man-made diamond now what's amazing about this is to the naked eye you can't tell that it's not a mined diamond you'd have to take it off for testing to check whether it was mined or man-made but the thing about man-made diamonds is you know that they're going to be absolutely perfect no scratches or anything like on the inside and the colour and the clarity is so good I bought it on my birthday a couple of years ago for myself and I really love it I, I enjoy it and I do wear it a lot of the time most days if I want to wear a necklace I will wear this one because I think it goes with everything because it is just a simple gold chain with a single diamond on it and I just love the way it sparkles and it makes me feel really glamorous so that's why I really like it too so for multicolour it's another nail polish this is amazing it's probably my favourite nail polish that I have in my collection although I can't really tell because there's so many polishes that I have that I really love however this is amazing, it's the Nails Ink Special Effects Holographic Glitter Top Coat and this, this stuff, I'm going to have to get the bottle out aren't I, because you will not believe. So this is what it looks like, it looks like a boring silver holographic top coat with bits in it and it looks really thick, but <laughs> put this over any shade of nail polish whatever you can even put it on plain nails it turns it holographic now because these glitters are so fine you can see the colours through it it's not going to be like a thick glitter on your nail but it's so subtle and then when you have it on your nails and you're, go and you're outside and the sun just hits it and you're just like wow it's amazing that's why I love this and why it's my multicolour product also, it's hard to find a lot of multicolour products because I don't think there's a lot I have out there. That was the Colours of the Rainbow tag. I really enjoyed it. I will list all the products below, so please do check that out in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get to see me again really soon, aka I hope I get to make a video really soon. I hope you're enjoying your day and I'll see you again really soon. Bye! What I like about it is it's so bright, makes your teeth look really white. I hope it's making my teeth look white because otherwise that's stupid. Looks like there's some spot on the camera. Mine's quite full. I love her, it's so amazing. She's my pretty baby. She's I got her for my birthday and I love her so much. I've wanted her for like two, three years now. So glad I finally have her. I'm not actually wearing a mascara right now. Oh my gosh, I just realised I'm not actually wearing mascara right now. <laughs> so weird. This is the Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner, but you can't see that because it's rubbed off because I've used it so much.